Welcome to PC Wits Kids Tech Talk. Today I wanted to show you how you can enhance your desktop effects in Windows XP to look similar to Vista or Ubuntu. I did some research here on the internet. If you go and download WinFlip, that will give you a task manager that allows you to flip between your different windows in a 3D environment. Okay, so you might have seen that in uh, Windows Vista, you might have seen that in Ubuntu, of course, or even on the Mac and OS X, so you can have these similar type of, of environments that are 3D and allow you to flip between each window and select the window that you want, make that the current one, and flip back. So it's a very nice, uh, quick way of navigating and actually seeing what you have running in the background all at once. So uh, that's, that's one thing that I recommend that you go ahead and try out. The other one is the Glass 2K. This is an oldie and a goodie, okay? Very, very small, hardly uses any memory. When you run it, it's self-contained, this little utility. Basically, um, it allows you to make your windows transparent, basically that glass look, right? So when you launch it, you can set it up to load every time Windows starts and uh, to remember your settings for every window. And the good thing about this is that you don't have to mass apply the same change for every window. You can select, I want this program only to have transparent windows and not this other program. So when you right click on a window, you can set the transparency level. So for example, if I open up Notepad here and I right click on Notepad, now I'll be able to get uh, a new option that's that allows me to select how transparent I want it. 60% for example, and you can see already how you can see through it. So if I have other windows behind it, you'll be able to see through it and see what's behind it. Now, like I said, if you don't want everything set up that way, then don't right click on it and set it up. That way your other windows and programs will not be transparent. And it's and it's very small, doesn't, doesn't use a lot of memory, and like I said, it's free. So I hope you enjoy these little utilities and um, have fun with them. Thank you for watching.